Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interesting questions and answers in SQL and PL SQL. So here is another question I have received from one of the subscriber. The question is how to find the last three records from a table without using row num or row underscore number analytical function. In fact, this question is very similar to the previous question only. Let us first see how to implement using row num and row number analytical function. Then I will show you how to implement the same functionality without using row num and row number analytical function. So here is our input table which contains some records like ABC, XY, M, L, K. So the expectation is we need to write a query to get the last three records. So in this case our expected output is M, L and K. First let us see how to implement this functionality using row num or row underscore number analytical function. So first I am creating the table and I am just populating the sample data into this table. Yes, all the informations are populated and I have committed the informations. So let me select the data from table. So we have all the records like A, B, C, X, Y, M, L and K. So let me just select the column. Okay, first let us use the row and pseudo column to fetch the last three records. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say order by row name descending so that the informations will get ordered in the reverse order of the insertion so that we will get the K, L, M in the first three position. So I'm just going to use this as outer query. And I'm just going to say select star from the same information. Then I'm going to say where row name less than or equal to three so that we will get the last three records. Yeah, so we just got the last three records like K, L, M. So this is one way of implementation. Let us see one more way of implementation using the row number analytical function. In fact, the logic is going to be exactly the same. So instead of row num uh, functionality, we are just going to use the row number analytical function. So let us write it. So let me select, select C from T. So let's say row underscore number over order by row num. So this is just to get a row number only. So instead of row num, I'm just using the row number analytical function. So let me just give R. So what I'm going to do, select C comma R from Okay, let me just make this as a descending in the inner query. Exactly similar to our previous query only. Okay, so now I'm just going to make this as an inner query and I'm saying where, where row num less than or equal to three. So the last query and this query are exactly one and the same. The only difference is in the first query, we are using only the row num pseudo column. However, in this case, instead of this, we are using the row underscore number analytical function but the logic is going to be the same only. So here are the queries. The first implementation is using the row name. So we actually use the row name pseudo column. So in the inner query is basically to sort in the reverse order and the outer query is basically to fetch the first three record after sorting in the descending order. So second method is also exactly same. The only difference is instead of row name, we are using the row underscore number. But the actual question I have received is, how can we implement the same functionality without using row num and row underscore number analytical function? So let us see how can we implement the same logic now. So now what I'm going to do the same thing. So let me say select C from T. So we have got the data. So now the first method what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the row limiting class. So for that, Suppose if I want to exclude the first five record. So in this case, we have actually total eight record, but my expectation is I need to exclude first five record. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the row limiting class like offset eight rows, then sorry, offset first five rows because I don't want five rows. Fetch next three rows only. So in this case, what will happen? It will exclude the first five record and then it will return the three. However, here we have actually hard coded the five. So instead of hard coding, let us make it as more generic. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say select 
count of star from t so that this will return 8 minus 3 because I just want to exclude right so in this case 8 minus 3 becomes 5 then we are fetching the last three records fine so this in this method we are actually using the row limiting class so the key thing is we are using the offset class basically to exclude the first five record instead of hard coding we are using an inner query this returns 8 so 8 minus 3 becomes 5 so it will exclude five records then it will fetch the next three records so this is our first method of implementation okay but the only thing is this row limiting class is actually introduced from oracle 12.1 so we will not be able to use this functionality in the prior versions of Oracle. So let us see how can we uh, achieve this functionality without using row limiting class. So if you want to understand what is this row limiting class, this offset keyword and just fetch keyword, I would suggest you to watch this video. The link of this video is given in the description. Fine. Now let us see how can we implement in the prior versions of Oracle without using this row limiting class. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to implement the same thing without using row limiting class. So in this case, I'm going to use the correlated subquery. So first let me see, select C from T. So I'm just going to give alias as A, where 3 greater than select count of star from T B, where T dot row ID less than a dot row id so now let's see what is the output sorry it is not t it is a and let me just make it as b yeah so now you can see we just got the m l and k so this is the correlated subquery way of implementation so if you want to know how this correlated subquery works, I would suggest you to watch this video because I've already explained how the, what is subquery and how the correlated subquery will work. And there are a lot of other examples also explained in this video. So now that we have actually seen four different methods of implementation. So in the first method, we are actually using the row name. In the next method, we are actually using the row underscore number analytical function. In the next method, we are actually using the correlated way of implementation. And one more method we have seen is using the offset that is row limiting class. However, this is only for learning. But if I am expected to implement this functionality currently, then I would combine these two methods that is using row name plus row limiting class. So here is the query. So you can use the row name to order by descending and then you can fetch only the top three record. By that way, you will get the last three record. So this is for real time implementation. However, all these things we can just try it from a learning aspect. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for more such interesting questions. If you have any such interesting questions to be answered, please drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video.